Hello YouTube. Yes, you have me again. <laughs> Supposed to be talking with my wife, but my wife's not feeling well. Um, this weekend, we had a mystery illness come through the house. And everyone had at the same time. Um, but what was weird about it was everyone's symptoms were a little different. We had common symptoms. The common symptoms were um, achy feeling, loss of appetite, sharp stomach pains once in a while, a um, little bit of dizziness, worn out feeling. That was, that was the common ones. Now, some of the uncommon ones was hot and cold spells. I had, I had some of that. I had a little bit of a fever with mine. Um, I don't know if my wife did. I don't know if my brother-in-law did. My daughter didn't have a fever with us. My daughter, her common symptoms came along with uh, vomiting. My wife and my brother-in-law's symptoms came along with going the other way. So, and I didn't have either one. So we don't, not sure what virus went flying through this house real quick. Mine was gone. Let's see, I, I started having symptoms on Sunday. Monday night. Well, Monday I tried going to work. I felt about 60% good. So I, I went home. I did a little bit of work and went home. Then Tuesday, I felt about 97% good, so I stayed at work. By the time I got off work, I was about, I felt 99. I still had a little bit of a lightheadedness, but everything else was gone. And yes, I was drinking water the whole time. <laughs> and it stayed down. Um, my appetite started coming back a little bit on Monday. I took a little, just a couple bites here and there. Tuesday, I was fine again. My wife was still suffering. My brother-in-law still suffering. So theirs is lasting a little bit longer. Now, I don't know if it's a mental thing. I told myself I need to get to work. I have work to do. So I went and you know forced myself to get up, forced myself to get dressed and go to work. Whereas those two, they gave in to it and decided to stay in bed most of the day. So I don't know, maybe that's why theirs is lasting longer. Or maybe they did catch a different version of whatever came to the house. I'm, like I told my daughter, I said, I may have ended up with sickness one, two, three. And she had one, two, four, and maybe mom and, mom and her uncle Jeff has one, two, five. One, two is common between all of us, but that last number is a different, slightly different. <clears throat> but my daughter, she's fine today. Uh, she was pretty much fine Monday. She she had a problem on Sunday, especially Sunday night. And then Monday morning she felt a little groggy. Monday afternoon she was fine. She bounced back, real quick. I took a little bit longer than her, because I was trying to rest Monday afternoon, and she was wide awake, bouncing around. Like I said. My brother-in-law and my wife are still recuperating. But it's just weird. We had the illness go through. Uh, what else is going on in our family? Well, our youngest son, he, he got a job out, out in Alabama with his, where his dad is. So he's going to stay there for a while. Which hopefully it does him good, because out here it was hard for him to get a job. When he did get a job, it was so, it wasn't forgiving. All right? There's some jobs out there that if you're a little late, they'll, they'll forgive you. Like my job. They want me to be there between 8 and 5. If I show up at 8, 10, they're okay with it. Other jobs, if they want you there at 8 and you show up at 8.05, 8.02, they get on your case. Well, that's the type of job he had. And so he... It's a combination of he, he gave up the job and the job gave up on him. 
So, but he's got a job now out in Alabama. Good for him. It sounds like he likes it. Our other son is still out in Texas. He's he's got jobs. I thought he had a steady job. Come to find out, his job is more of a on call type job. If they have a job, they assign this group of people to go do it. Otherwise, you're just sitting there, not really collecting the paycheck. So that's kind of that's kind of terrible. And he can't get a part time job because if he gets called to a different state, they say they might say, "Oh, we got a job. We need these ten people to go out there." He can't just give up that other job that quick. So I don't know how. I don't know how he's surviving, but he is. He's doing good. He's doing all right. Sometimes I worry about him. So if he sees this video, I do worry about you. <laughs> you know who you are. You're in Texas. Um, our daughter, oldest daughter, she's doing fine. Um, she's going through the stage of uh, nausea feelings with her pregnancy. So keep her in prayer. She'll get through it. She did the first time, she'll do it this time. Um, I think she's having a little bit tougher this time because she's also having to take care of a child. Not just the one that's inside of her, but the one that's outside too. So it's a little rougher. But other than that, everything's fine. Uh, Fourth of July is coming up. Um, let us know what plans you guys have. Because right now we're kind of up in the air a little bit on what we're going to do. Um, they have a fireworks display out on the beach. The problem is, is there's also a big carnival at the beach. And my daughter's if I take her to the beach to go see the fireworks, she's going to want to ride all those rides. And I just, <laughs> I'm just not, not up for that. So maybe I'll do what I do every year. Buy a little bit of fireworks, launch them off in the front yard or backyard. A couple years ago we launched some in the front yard. They were the types that went up in the air and then did some bursts. Well, my wife, she was uh, watching it and one of the pieces fell down hit her right in right on the shoulder. And after that she didn't she doesn't want any of those that launch up in the air. So it looks like I'll be getting a bunch of spoking ones for the driveway. And I'll just have them spoke in the driveway. Maybe get some smoke bombs for the day. Ooh, excuse me. So, that's what we're doing for the 4th. Uh, if anybody's traveling, please be uh, be on the lookout. Like we used to say in the military, have your head on a swivel. Watch your six, all that good stuff. Because there are crazy people out there. And they do hit random targets. They hit soft targets. And this week, uh, just this, this week, they also hit hard targets. So, you never know what they're going to hit. They do seem to target more crowded areas. So, please be on the lookout. Stay safe, everyone. Um, if you are traveling, stay safe if you're not traveling. If you're just going to go somewhere where the, there's a big gathering... Please be on the lookout for strange behaviors. All right? Now, I'm not talking about strange behavior as like the people that you see at Walmart. Okay, I'm not talking about that strange behavior. You know, the, what people wearing goofy things or they just woke up and they go straight to Walmart without changing clothes. All right? I'm not talking about those type of strange people. I'm talking about when people, like on this movie I just saw, where an explosion happened and a bunch and a couple other people were running the opposite direction from the panic people. Well, that's strange behavior. Okay, and I'm not talking about EMT. I'm not talking about police or firemen doing it. These were plainclothes people with backpacks and they were running in the opposite direction. They were running towards where the EMT and the police and the firemen were going. They were running the same direction as them. And they end up, those backpacks end up being explosives and killed a bunch of the, uh, the police officers. So 
So it's strange behavior like that that I'm talking about. Be on the lookout of any of those. Um, stay, stay safe this weekend. Um, enjoy your fourth. Uh, if you're having a barbecue, see, I'm, I'm going into my uh, <laughs> my pre-holiday military safety training that we used to do. We had to do a little five-minute safe training. I, I do. I want you guys to be safe. Um, if you have a barbecue, make sure you keep the little little hands away from it. Keep big hands away from it. Keep drunk people away from it. Um, if you're deep frying anything. Be careful. I've heard so many horror stories about, especially when deep people try and deep fry the turkey, <laughs> especially at Thanksgiving time. Um, but stay safe. Stay safe with your fire, fireworks. Um, it's amazing what a firecracker, just a little firecracker can, can do on the palm of your hand. It goes off, leaves a little black mark on your hand. In a closed fist, it blows your hand apart. So. Please be safe. Sparklers burn at hot temperatures. Please be safe. Um, anything that launches, don't point it at anybody. Uh, we had one incident, was it last year? It might have been the year before. We launched some of those paper lanterns. You know, the type that you see on, uh, on, on Rapunzel, where they launched a bunch off in, in the sky. Well, me and my daughter tried doing that. First one took off real nice. Went up, 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 kept going up in the sky, over the, over the uh, houses, over the trees, and just kept going. Second one went up over the house and then down. Landed behind my house where they were doing construction. Luckily, it didn't land on the roof of one of the new homes because it could have burned it all up. Because it is an open flame that heats up the air that allows this lantern to float away like a hot air balloon well something happened to this and it came down it landed in the yard of the, of the new house and as I was jumping over the fence because we have, we have a six foot fence around the backyard as I was jumping over my fence to try and get to it somebody else in that neighborhood had seen it come down and was already heading over there helping to put it out so I'm blessed for that. That could have been a catastrophe. I'm still wondering where that first one landed. I'm hoping that the the flame went out before it landed. Um, because nowhere on there do they say there's no way warning label saying please launch us only over a beach, you know, at a beach or in a big open field. Well, even an open field, God, the one I, we launched, it was a good couple football fields away and still climbing, still floating away, still going up. So like I said, I don't know where it landed. I just hope it didn't burn anybody's house down. I mean, I would be, I'd be sad if I'm sitting outside or I wake up in the middle of the night because my house is on fire because somebody with a lantern torched it. So please be safe with that. I don't know why they allow those. I thought it was, I wasn't thinking at the time. It was beautiful. It, you know, it was, just, it was just like the movie. My daughter loved it. But I wasn't thinking. So please, people, when you, when you deal with firecrackers, fireworks, be safe. Think about it. When you're cooking, think about it. That's something a lot of people don't do. They enjoy the moment, and they forget that what they're doing is dangerous. So please be safe. If you get sick... If you know what our symptoms were, and you know what the sickness was that we all had, or what some of us had, some didn't, leave a comment below. I don't know if it was a flu, I don't know if it was something else. My daughter's might have been just something she ate was bad. It caused her to have an upset stomach and she threw up a couple times. I don't know. But if you have any ideas or want to comment about what I've commented on, <laughs> leave them below. Uh, subscribe. Like. Give a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Share with your friends, share with your family, share with your strangers. <laughs> and uh, my, wife, my wife will be on next time. Hopefully she'll feel a lot better. 
she's done with all her stuff that was taken away from these videos before. Now, today it's a sickness. She does plan on being here on Sunday. Because I know she missed last one. My daughter filled in. So, leave your comments below. And check out my channel. I'm going to be talking about the latest topics on what's happening in the U.S. right now. And a little bit about what's happening overseas. So, see you later, guys. Enjoy your 4th of July.